And hello everyone, here is teacher friend for your weekly English lesson. I hope you are fine, me, I'm fine, very happy to be with you and to make a new lesson about many things, okay? So today, let's take a look on the lesson. Okay, so for this week, it will be mainly uh, reading exercise, okay? And to explain a bit of your culture with English words, okay? So first we will start, cool, with your book page 37 with some Thai holidays, okay? So you will see it's a dialogue between two persons, okay? And some bubbles to read. And after that, with your book page 38, public holidays in Thailand. So here it will be interesting because I will give you some keys to explain your culture to a foreign person. Okay? And we have a text to read, obviously. Okay, so we start. We start slowly with the dialogue. Okay? And I said between two persons, but no, <laughs> many persons. Okay, so let's go. I start to read, you follow me, okay? We go to school on weekdays. We are free on weekends. We have some public holidays in April. They are not any public holidays in November. Loi Craton Day is not a public holiday. Is New Year's Eve a public holiday? Of course, yes. New Year's Day is a public holiday. Okay, so it's a fast warm up. Read that two times. And after that, you follow me, we will start the real things. With your book, page 38. Okay, so here we have a huge text, okay? So about public holidays in Thailand. And after that, you will have some public holidays to explain. Okay, so we start with the text first. You follow me? It is 10 o'clock. Tim is playing games in the living room. Andy, his cousin from America, comes into the room. Tim, why don't you go to school? Today is a public holiday. It's coronation day. Please tell me about public holidays in your country. Country, me R C O U N T R Y. Okay, country. Take a look. This book is about public holidays. Okay, so now we start the text. Public holidays in Thailand. New Year's Day is in January. Makabucha Day is in February. Chakri Memorial Day and Songkran Festival are in April. Coronation Day, Visakabucha Day, and Royal Pluffing Ceremony Day are in May. Asanabucha Day and Buddhist Land Day are in July. The Queen's Birthday, Mother's Day, is in August. Shulalongkorn Memorial Day is in October. The King's Birthday, Father's Day, Constitution Day, and New Year's Eve are in December. There are not any public holidays in March, June, September and November. Okay, so now I just want you to take a look on the right, okay? Actually, you know these public holidays perfectly, but not in English. It is also very interesting if you want to explain and show a part of your culture and education to foreign people, like me, for example. <laughs> of course, because I don't know everything, obviously. <laughs> So now take a look on these three pictures and say what holidays are they. Okay, 
So for you, it will be very easy, okay? So now I will show you something. To explain, it's better. Because, for example, now I know because I take a look on internet and start to learn, obviously, the Thai culture because I live in Thailand. So it's very important to know everything around you. It's really important. And it's a mark of respect toward Thai people. I think so. Okay. So first, New Year's Day, January 1st, we celebrate a new year with our families and friends. We wish good health to our loved ones, friends, neighbors, good things, a lot of chance, and a lot of money. <laughs> Obviously, it can help. Number two, so on this picture, okay, so teacher friend learned that, okay, I learned that already, but a foreign person, okay, that is not interested in Thailand or came here for the first time, how can he know that? So you can explain to him or her, okay? So Mother's Day on August 12th. That is the queen's birthday and also the mother's day. Children kneel down before their mother to show their love and gratitude. They present her with white jasmine flowers or garlands. But I hope I'm good with that, okay? <laughs> Here, for this, you can be the teacher, okay? So I hope I'm okay with that. I hope I'm right. Number three, so I think I make a little mistake on that because uh, you can find many things about this. So number three, auspicious plan day on May 11th, okay? And I take a look in the text and I found that they spoke about, I take a look, uh, royal pluffing ceremony day. Yes, because you can find both auspicious plan day and the royal, sorry, I, I lost it. Royal Pluffing Ceremony Day. Here it is. Okay. So on May 11th, it is a religious ceremony to forecast the quality of the future rice harvest. Okay. So rice is very important in Asia and especially in Thailand. Okay. It's pretty important here. Uh, so I hope I'm right with that. Okay, so we can say many things about the third part. Okay, uh, this is a huge part with many things inside, but I just take a little part about this. Okay, so now you have some keys to explain some special days in Thailand to foreign people, especially number two and number three, because all around the world, most of the time, New Year's Day is something common, okay? And the lesson is over. So yes, today it was really interesting. So for you, about English language and to learn many things, and for me, to learn a bit, a part of the Thai culture. Okay, so take care of you. Take care of your family and see you next week. Bye-bye.